Good morning, everybody. Welcome back after a very long time. It has been so strange not filming videos and not editing and not uploading and it's just been really weird but welcome back for another video um today is may 1st which is the same day that you guys are seeing this video and uh we are going to sam's club which i am pretty excited for because we are out of literally everything because it's just the way it is i have three children that eat a lot because they play so many freaking sports. So uh, we're headed to Sam's Club today. So I'm gonna share a haul with you guys, but I thought it prudent to come on here first and just talk a little bit about what was going on and what the resolution is and, and all of that. So essentially this all started, my, my YouTube problem started last week when I received payment for the month. So if you aren't, aren't familiar, YouTube pays you once a month. It's usually like some, for my bank, it's like somewhere between the 22nd and the 25th of the month, I will receive payment. And, um, I got the payment for this channel, but I did not get it for my other channel. And, um, AdSense says that I was demonetized, but it doesn't give a reason. I was never emailed about breaking a rule. I was never not like nothing ever went down in the sense of like them notifying me of anything. I still have access to all of the YouTube partner program things on that channel. Um, and so it was just really confusing. Literally nobody even knew that like why I, I contacted YouTube. They're like, it says that you're still monetized. They can't figure it out. And as of right now, they still cannot figure it out. Um, uh, they have been contacting me pretty much every day and they'll give me a little update like, Hey, we're still working on it. We just don't know what's going on. Um, they're doing an internal investigation, but originally they had told me like, you might as well just kind of not post because you, I don't know when it's going to be resolved. Um, and if you'll get credit for it. And that was kind of my understanding was both channels. However, now they're telling me that this channel is okay and I should be okay to post here. So I'm actually going to be kind of moving some of the content from that channel, which is all weight loss stuff over to this channel for a little while and kind of posting everything here until that gets figured out. So I wanted to get that little update. I was very frustrated over the last couple of weeks. It's very frustrating to have something that you've worked so hard for be ripped completely apart from you. Like for no reason. They don't even want to tell you why. Like I've worked so hard on both of my channels and grew them to a point where they were providing a good additional income for my family and to just have that complete. I mean, they, they owe me a good bit of money for that channel for last month that I have not gotten or have not received, but, um, it's just the way it is. So I wanted to give you that little update. This channel is going to be going forward with some additional weight loss updates and content. So if you're interested in that, I guess just watch, but I'm good at Sam's club and I will show you a haul. All right, here we go. See how much I get in this buggy. Apparently I'm really into cleaning supplies today. I've um, never seen this before this plant-based stain fighting and it's lavender and I'm apparently, oh, it's gonna fall into lavender this morning with all my other stuff. So I'll add that to the pile. Y'all know I don't usually do like liquid laundry detergent, but they don't have an Unstoppables that's lavender and I'm on a mission right now. So we're gonna do this one <laughs> to go along with all the other lavender stuff. And this child is screaming cookie at me. So I gotta go get her a cookie. You got your Mimi? Sit right here. <laughs> Look at these gorgeous hydrangeas. Although my sister works for a, George's mom works for a um, farm. So she's gonna get me some hydrangeas. So I'm not gonna pay for those, but they're really pretty. Look at this purple one. I just found sourdough bread. seen that here before. I'm grabbing diapers for my sister because she can't get into Sam's Club as much working full time. Ugh. So those are for Georgia. But I got a bunch of bread, added a bunch of bread, this sourdough that I've never seen before, some tortillas. The goal with this haul is so that I can like 
not go to the grocery store that often in May because it's the end of the school year, end of sports, end of all the things. So my goal is to get lots and lots of stuff. And Georgia's eating a cookie now, so she's happy. I have been seeing these all over people's hauls and my Sam's Club has not had them. And I'm so excited. I'm getting two of them. This is perfect little after school snack or whatever. Oh my gosh, so excited. My card is getting very full already. I'm having really bad luck lately with the um, seltzer waters. There's none again. It's like two whole times that I've come here that they've not had any seltzer. I don't know what's going on with that. Better not be getting rid of them. Okay, I just got back from Sam's Club. I have everything laid out on the table behind me. And let me tell y'all, I got a lot of stuff today. I had to like double stack so many things. I didn't realize that I was getting so much like actual food. Usually I get like the seltzer waters and Cokes for Chris and like dog food that costs 60 bucks. And since I didn't get any of that today, I still spent $600, but it was on like more food. So I have a lot to share with you guys today. Again, I'm trying to go to the grocery store as few times as possible in May. Just do like bigger shopping trips because we just have so much going on right now with life and therefore I need to keep things as simple as possible. So I'm going to go ahead, turn you around and show you what I got. I do have Finley and Georgia here now. Um, I asked them to be quiet, but you know, they are one and four. So if you hear a little bit of talking, that's what that is. But yeah, let me go ahead and turn you around and share with you what I got. I got some different stuff. I went on like a lavender kick as you saw in the store. So I'll go ahead and show you what I got uh, and stop laughing. So let me turn you around. Starting over here on this chair, just cause I didn't have anywhere else to put it. I needed some cleaning supplies. So I got these scrubbing bubbles, bathroom grime fighter. Um, I like this one for cleaning our showers specifically, and we have been out of this for a while. So I went ahead and picked that up and then for, Oh, geez. Sorry about that. For, um, laundry detergent this month. I went with this one that is apparently plant-based and lavender scented. I don't know. We've never tried this before, but I've never seen it. So I thought I would give it a go. And this is what started my lavender obsession for the day. And then I ended up getting the Spring Oasis Snuggle, which has a lavender scent to it. And then also the Lavender Fabuloso so that I can mop the floors with it. And have more lavender in my life. So I got those three things and then moving here to food and stuff like that. Well, I guess these couple things right here aren't food. We needed new toothbrushes. I looked at Bryson's toothbrush this morning in the bathroom and it was like, he, I don't know what that boy does to toothbrushes, but they end up being like flat because he uses, he's so aggressive with it. So I was like, we need toothbrushes. So I got this pack of the 360 optic white Colgates. I think that these were like on sale for like $13 and you get eight of them in there. And then again with the lavender, I'm like, well, if I'm using all of this lavender stuff, then I need the whole house to just have a lavender aroma. So I got the Glade Tranquil Lavender and Aloe. You got one plug and then I believe nine refills. So that should last us for a long time. Um, they had a lavender scent in the Febreze one, but I don't have a Febreze plug-in and it didn't come with a warmer. So I just went ahead and went with this Glad one. Um, several things are going to be open because Georgia kept getting hungry. So this is one of them. This is the Colby and Monterey Jack cheese slices. You got 36 of them and she has already eaten one of them. Um, but that's a change from our normal cheese sticks, but I don't know. I just felt like this today. Same thing with the cookies. Um, she ate one of these in the store. So we got those. This is a normal purchase for us. Moving back here, I got several items of bread this month because I want to just have it on hand. I find myself buying like sandwich rolls and bread for spaghetti and stuff a lot throughout the month. So I decided this might be a better deal. So I got this big bag of these sandwich sub rolls and I'm going to divvy them up into freezer bags and freeze them. Or you could honestly just freeze it in this as long as you resealed it well and then pull out what you need each time. But I got that. And then I also got the little uh, mini French ones. I think they're French. They might be Italian. 
jumbo white hoagie. I don't know. It's, I think this is French, but these are good for making Texas toast. They're good for like having and doing, um, like, uh, meatball subs on so many things. I think you get six of them in here. So this will be good. And then the last thing, well, no, there's two more bread things. I got these burritos. We've been doing the Taco Bell quesadilla, um, copycat recipe a lot lately and I keep having to buy like two packs every time and it's just not cost effective so I got these I think you got yeah you get 20 of them and I believe they were like four or five dollars these I showed you guys in the store I have been seeing these in other people's hauls and I was so jealous that my um Sam's Club didn't have them but they did this time so you get four of each flavor. So there is one that is Chips Ahoy's little yogurt covered cocoa covered raisins. And then I would see exactly what that was. And then little cheese. And then the other one is white cheddar cheese, Teddy Grahams and fruit snacks. This is a good little snack, especially now that, that it's going to be summer for the kids in the afternoon, take these to the pool, all of that sort of thing. So I actually got two of those because I was so excited to see them. I jumped on that. I got some paper plates. We didn't necessarily need these, but they were on sale for like $3 off. So I went ahead and picked those up. Um, coming back around this way, I did pick one snack for each kid. So I got Bryson the Flaming Hot Cheetos. For Kylie, I got Cool Ranch, Dur no, this is Finley. For Finley, I got Cool Ranch Doritos. And then for Kylie, she's been into veggie straws lately. So I picked up a big bag of those for her. You see what I mean? I have so much stuff here that I had to like triple stack some things. Doritos. Um, you like those too? You can have some. So I got two things of chocolate muffins this month. I'm going to freeze one pack of them and leave one out. Again, summer starts in like three weeks. So I wanted to go ahead and have these on hand. I got some Brookside's for me to refill my container since I probably won't be going to Sam's again this month. This is something new that I've never seen. I mean, it might have always been there and I just never saw it, but this is a sourdough bread loaf. Um, again, really good for making like Texas toast with spaghetti, slicing up and using for sandwiches, whatever. And this was like really affordable, like three bucks. Um, I said the muffins coming. Let's see this way. There's so much more over here, y'all. Um, coming this way. I got my melting cheese. I've not picked this up in quite a while, actually, but with us making those quesadillas, I thought this might be a good thing to put on there. So I got one of those, and then this is something else that is open, the old Wisconsin turkey sticks. Georgia also ate one of these while we were in the store. I got um, these prime rib um, mini hamburgers again this month. I bought these last month and we loved them. It was two meals for us. So um, I'll divide that in half, but we really like those. And then the ground beef, the 88% lean, 12% fat one was on sale for four seven, no, four thirty four a pound. So this made me get almost five pounds for $20. Whereas I usually got like three pounds for 15. So this is definitely more cost effective. Um, I got two things of the Smithfield fully cooked bacon this time. I'm really sad that I did not end up buying more of the one that was on sale for $6 last week or last month because there's no more of them. And we've eaten all four packs because I told y'all if the bacon's there, they're going to eat it. So I don't know, whatever. I got two of these. These were like $13 a piece. I got several chicken options this month because my kids have been loving chicken. So I got a big bag of the crispy chicken strips and then also a big bag of the lightly breaded chicken breast bites by Just Bear. We've never tried these, but I see them all the time and they look so good. It reminds me of a Chick-fil-A nugget. I don't know if it tastes like that, but we're going to give these ones a shot. Um, and I think they're supposed to be like better for you overall with no artificial ingredients and no preservatives. And then it says no antibiotics ever. I got my chicken tenderloins. These were like $20 so that, and I don't have to divvy them up. So I went for the easy way out with that for sure. Um, taco, mini tacos just to have in the freezer for once summer starts and the kids need easy lunches. I did get quite a bit of fruit this time. So I got two things of the blueberries because we go through these like crazy and I always regret not buying two. For some reason, my kids love this brand of strawberries from Sam's Club and, or I'm sorry, blueberries. We go through them so fast 
And then the two pound container of strawberries was on sale for $4. So I went ahead and got that one as well. We do have some currently from the farm that we go to, but we're eating through strawberries so fast right now because they're good that I know we'll eat them. So I got two of those and then they also had our sweet globe green grapes, which Chris really loves. So I went ahead and got that as well. And then Caesar salad kit. I'm actually going to eat this for dinner tonight. We have practices and Chris has a meeting. So I thought this would be just a really quick, easy dinner for me to have tonight. And Chris will probably have some too. Sharp cheddar cheese for Chris. He eats this on crackers. I'm just looking at this and there's still just so much I have to say. And I feel like I've been talking forever already. Um, I got the chicken, the rotisserie chicken enchiladas that we love. This is just a quick, easy meal for us. So I got that. We needed more scrubs or not, well, scrubs, yes, but more sponges. So I decided to give Scrub Daddy a try. Everybody loves these. I've never bought official Scrub Daddy ones before. And this was the same price as these sponges. So this six pack, I believe was like $10. Um, but now I'm going to have to order a little caddy to put him on. But anyway, I got those. I needed tampons. That's pretty self-explanatory. They did not have my yogurt again. They've not had it for a while. So I just kind of broke down and got this Greek vanilla one. I do have some honey that I might just put in there. Uh, but yeah, I got two of those and they were about the same price. Let's see what else. Toothpaste, the Colgo Total uh, with antibacterial protection. We needed toothpaste. And then we also need shampoo. This one we got last month as well and really liked it because I add tea tree oil to it and it doesn't make it have too much of a scent or it's not like too overlapping with the tea tree oil. So I got that. Bath tissue, toilet paper, whatever we needed. And then the diapers are actually Georgia's. Her mom, my sister is going to pay me for those, but I went ahead and picked them up for her while I was there. And then I think we have a few more things back there that I need to say. I don't think I said muffins yet. So I did get some muffins. I got Chris, his Ritz crackers to eat with the cheese. He eats that after work a lot. We needed coffee. We were completely out, like had no more after this morning. So that definitely prompted this Sam's Club trip. Um, crunch berry cereal for Finley. She loves that. Red Baron deep dish singles. Again, something else just to have in the freezer once summer starts. And then back there, I got spaghetti things for the month. So the ragu three pack of traditional sauce, the Barilla boxes that has three farfalle or bow ties and three rotini. We like noodles like that over like regular spaghetti noodles. So that'll be good. And then the final thing that I got is the Go Go Squeeze yogurts. The one, this one has 10 strawberry, 10 strawberry banana, and all of the girls like that. Oh my gosh, I'm out of breath. <laughs> so that is the whole haul for uh for this month which is huge okay now i need to put this all away and then i'm actually going to film a fully stocked tour um so you're going to see this video today on wednesday the may the first and I'm hoping to have that tour up on friday if not it'll be monday but thank you guys so much for watching this video thank you for being patient with me during my thing i'm going to make a video on manjaro like an update video on that and i'm going to talk a little bit more in that about what everything that went down and all of that. So stay tuned for that video, hopefully in the next couple of days. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys very soon. Bye guys.